Hello, everyone. Welcome to our latest White Pod. I'm your host, Stephen Bland with White Labs, a digital marketing agency that specializes in e-commerce brands. Uh, I have Farinas with us today. Hi, everyone. Farinas. <laughs> feel free to introduce yourself. Let our, let our audience know a little better about you and your background. Oh, okay. Sure. I'd be happy to. Um, uh, well, I'm originally from Iran, and I have been in U.S. for a very long time. Uh, uh, finished my high school here, West Virginia, and finished wow. uh, UW, University of Washington in Seattle. And um, uh, so it's been a very interesting journey. I left home during uh, the, the uprising and revolution in Iran. So and I just recently been back. So it's been very interesting in that regard. Uh, for the brand, the brand started almost uh, like two decades ago, a little bit more than two decades. So brand been around for a long time. Before I was a design director for a large company, I lived in Hong Kong and, um, you know, it was a substantial size. So that was an interesting and good experience. And by the way, you're talking about full designer. So that's really what my background <laughs> is. I'm a I'm a painter and I'm a designer. So it might be a little bit different than some of the people you have heard in the past. But several decades ago, we were all in, uh, in all Nordstrom for 11 years. We were in Neiman Marcus for five years. We were in many uh, specialty stores, all high end. And, and then, of course, um, just like everybody else, um, mm -hmm. uh, we had the uh, site for a very long time. And recently, I have become very interested in the world of digital marketing and uh, the e-commerce. And what I like about it the most uh, uh, to help the potential of reaching. And you know, and of course, it's not a secret. I mean, uh, everybody is into mm -hmm. digital world now. Of course. Um, I mean, there are some negative, and there's quite a bit of positive for a brand. So. Uh, I have been working on my team, and uh, there are things that I have realized that it will um, help the brand is to uh, branch, uh, uh, you know, more powerful marketing companies. Uh, uh, we enter about eight, nine months ago with a company called Wolf Badger. They're based in London. Um, they're quite, uh, you know, it matched the brand. We are more uh -huh. high end. We are part of a slow fashion, by the way. <laughs> uh -huh. It's opposite uh, fast fashion. So that basically means it's a classic shirt, like white shirts, and mm -hmm. uh, that you can never have enough of it. And it's of uh, quite good and inspiring. And it is a good thing for, you know, for, for, for women that uh, it's, it's classic, the quality is superior. You can have it in your closet for a very long time. You can wear it in a different ways. Um, so I'm still quite passionate about the concept of the brand. So we have connected to a couple of other companies as well, and we're expanding in that regard. We have um, several um, influencers that they've been quite passionate about the brand. And I think uh, being interested and being passionate uh, for the people that they get involved is uh, quite important. It is a unique mission that I have, um, connecting, serving uh, women in the world. And this has been um, an opportunity for me to explore and grow. That's great. What what inspired you to get into e-commerce? Well, I mean, uh, mainly, I think I mentioned it a little bit. Uh, yeah, you did. Mainly yeah. is the extension, is the possibility of uh, the audience, uh, is the, you know, the people that you can reach. And it's beyond borders. It's uh, beyond, you know, Seattle, beyond the states, beyond, so it's a, it's a, it's a global uh, concept. And of course, it's not easy. Of course, everybody have. A website, everybody, groceries, so everybody. Of course, yeah, yeah. How you grow it and what you do with it, um, and be also really wise about how you're spending money, where you're spending money is absolutely, you know, for me as a principal of the company, um, it's been really interesting and is that definitely been a, a, a the experience, learning experience. Um, but it is important. It is very important, and I think it's good. It's it is good and mainly that because you can't reach it. But for high end, it's a little bit more challenge because like 
you know, my shirts, they're like the fabric. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but it's the best of the best. Get better fabric. <laughs> so how do you show it? How I mean, those are all the challenges that we are working on. That's great. No, that, that. So is your is your target audience? It's it's all women, right? You don't do any men. It's, it's all women. Is it started very personal to you know, uh, you know, empower uh, myself, and it was through empowering other women. So it, because it's a collaboration, fashion is a lot like the music business. It's uh, it's a commercial art. There's a bit of a fine art involved, but it's mostly commercial art, and it's um, you know how 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 you reach that that is the challenge makes total sense so what 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 makes you different than your competitors i know you have a lot so what makes yes. you different well i mean i wish everybody well more power to business people business women particularly um well, my brand for what is a stand uh it is as i mentioned is the slow fashion which means it's a better quality for sure. It's something you don't dispose easily, something that you will have in uh, your closet for a long time and it can be passed on. So it really is um, uh, it's a good way to go because fashion industry is one of the industry that is absolutely very harsh in environment. And it's greatly to do with fast fashion, which means the product you can't, you know, you use it, you dispose it, you use it, you dispose it. And I follow trend really closely because I love it. It's part of fashion. Um, mm -hmm. Still, it gets, and um, I have been sticking to the concept of the brand because I've seen a transformation in women. I'm honored to know that, to experience that, to be part of it, to be their designer. I'm absolutely honored. Uh, for the you know for the work that I have and the 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 uh, the woman allowing me to you know be part of their life and the clothing does matter so because we need to wear something every day so to you know having that the experience of you know fashion um, and being a design director for a large company and it was a great company to work with but something I learned it was part of fast fashion uh, streetwear I I done all sorts I done like ski wear I done uh, surfwear I done uh, you know men's kids um, teenage but it was mostly targeted to fast fashion realize um the beauty and integrity of something that is quality and I truly feel quality matters that's great yeah. So, so what are you... you know, I guess, sorry about that. I guess I was one of the pioneer of a slow fashion and I didn't okay. even know what it is because I stick to something that I felt like it's needed. Great shirt for a woman that is close to body. So it's super feminine, super sexy, super confident. And then also I feel like I want to do something with the integrity. with something that I feel proud of. So that's what uh -huh. my name is in every single shirt. I see that. So speaking of your products, what is your best selling product? Actually, it's the shirt that I'm wearing. And <laughs> believe it or not, it was my first design. Unbelievable. It's called I, I Desire. Almost wore a white it's shirt a white today. shirt called almost. Desire. I almost wore a white shirt today. I could have matched. Oh, well, it's, it's a good thing. And colors are expressive. It's great. Prints are whimsical and fun. It's, a, it's like a movie. It's like a movie that you're the star. So fashion, exactly. it really is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed 100%. to dictate you. It's supposed to inspire you. That's a great answer. So what's your future plan for the brand? I'm super excited to expand in digital. Uh, and I'm working on my team. Um, I just hire a social media specialist. And I have gone through a lot of freelance. It's not easy. Of course. Um, no, no, it's, it's not. I'm working, uh, talking to a, a great person in New York. She is finishing you know, photography school and she's entering for Oscar de Relente, which is a great brand. It's commercial, but I have a lot of respect for the brand. And so I'm I'm creating a team and I'm being wise about budget. <laughs> so yeah, that's course. a reality. Yeah. What besides you said you're you're doing some social what what are you what are you what are you doing to promote the business at this point? Right now we you know like uh, the influencers been helpful. You said that, yeah. Uh, okay. There is nothing just like every business. Um even though I'm not tech savvy at all, which that's uh -huh. okay. You know, I'm I'm a designer. I'm a, I'm a fashion designer and that's my passion, that's my interest and that's what I'm good at. Um so, you know, bringing people just like any other business is like a tapestry. You just 
you know, bring things together, uh -huh. you know, traffic. Okay, is that the right traffic? If it's not the right traffic, the coming, not necessarily will turn to an order. Is that the right traffic? Are you communicating? So that that's SEO. And SEO is becoming really interesting uh, also. It's, nothing is that is you know, straightforward and cut because I'm, I'm penetrating through the market. I'm understanding as I'm going. So, but there are things that is very obvious. You need to have a traffic. You need to have right traffic. Mm -hmm. You know, who's your target audience? Is your content is communicating to who you are? Are you resolving the issue of fit? Because we go up to size 14 and we uh -huh. want to do plus sizes going forward for sure, for sure. And are we communicating that we're not only side for size zero and two and, you know, four? Um, so there's a lot of things that is content and there are traffic related. Uh, how do you get captured the right traffic? So as I'm, you know, talking to you right now, as, as we're going, we're, I'm, I'm learning a lot and, you know, and I'm cultivating to work with the proper people to, bring different element to this hopefully a great picture that's great that's a that's a great answer and that's a great way to look at everything <laughs> thank so, you so do, do you have do you have anything else you want to that you, that you would like our audience to know about you your brand anything in general that i've missed oh well i mean it really as i said i'm i'm here it's it's it's, it's woman driven i mean i'm mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a woman and uh, you know, I, you know, I love male species. I have two <laughs> boys. Uh, they're great people. I'm so honored to be their mom. Uh, for my brand is really is focusing to women to empower them, you know, help their strength, help their beauty, help their confidence. That's what uh -huh. the brand stands for. Okay. And um, I have seen the transformation. I'm so honored to be uh, part of that. And I continue to what I do uh, because I think it's a great mission and it's fun, it's social, you know, and it comes from heart and passion and interest. That's great. Well, Fernis, I really appreciate you coming on the podcast. Um, appreciate your time and thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Bye.